Massive volcanoes rise above the cloud forest. At any moment, they can burst into violent life. As you travel south down the chain of the Andes, you pass a line of brooding giants. Among them are the highest active volcanoes in the world, rising to more than 6,000 meters. The latest meters. aerial footage from Pakistan showing what's being called the flood of the century. The search and rescue efforts are They're so high that in even in the tropics, the their summits are crowned with ice and snow. Aid agencies say entire villages have been washed away and some three million people affected. The worst flooding for 80 years. In the heart of the Andes, Food is volcanic scarce, activity has affected, built more than mountain peaks. Water supply contaminated. It's thrust a high desert plateau risk of three miles up into the sky, particularly among the children. Altiplano. The UN agency UNICEF says more than a million Sulfur youngsters now need emergency aid. the world's highest geyser field rises Although into the cold, rains have stopped thin for now, air. Huge swathes of northwest the vision Pakistan of Earth remains before submerged. life began. Despite the massive relief effort, there's been criticism of the government response in some areas. With complaints, help has been slow to arrive. Pakistan's military says it has 30,000 troops and dozens of helicopters committed. But the area affected is so vast, many people feel nothing is being done. Much of the water here evaporates in huge caustic lakes. This must be one of the most extreme environments on Earth. How could anything possibly live here? Incredibly, the Altiplano salt lakes actually attract animals. Flamingos come here to breed. Their season starts with a masked courtship dance. on these caustic lakes. These ones are Andean flamingos, 